What's going on guys? It is Trapper Tom and we are fixing to get these trapped, dyed, and waxed. So I got a little setup under my deck because it looks like we got some weather coming in and I got nothing else going on. So I've got the traps nice and rusted, ready to go. I've got the burner right there, looking good. And uh, get that water just to a near boil. We'll get the dye put in there and I'll kind of show you what I got as far as what we're using for this process. All right, what we're using today is this logwood trap dye. Um, I'm not gonna do any fancy measurements. I don't have that many traps going in, less than a dozen that are gonna be getting dyed. So um, we'll dump some of this in there in that big old bucket or big old pot that I got cleaned out. And then we'll let them sit just below a boil for about an hour. Now we didn't do any degreaser or lye solution as it says on this bag, but if you guys remember, we did do that acid bath and you can see that good layer of rust that's forming on all these traps. It looks really good. The little 110s here. And then I got the 330s right here. So they're all looking really good and ready for dye. So once again, we're using this logwood trap dye. And uh, once I got it in the pot and the pot with the water that's hot enough, we'll get a video set up and watch the traps go in. All right, guys, the burner is real loud, so we're not gonna try to talk while we're doing this, but I'm just gonna do a quick video of getting the, the dye put in, I guess, so you guys can see that. All right, cool, we'll check it out. All right, guys, we got this logwood dye here. We're gonna put some in. We'll probably use most of it. That's about half. I'm gonna go grab a beaver stick and mix this up a little bit and let it get real nice and dissolved. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I gotta crouch a little bit here, but we're gonna start with the uh, MB750s. Still got them on that wire, so as I can get the whole chain and trap into the uh, into the pot. So now it's important to not have this water at a boil. So right now it's just kind of getting up to being warm and where I need it to be. And uh, I'll just monitor it and make sure it doesn't get to a boil. So we're going to try to get three traps in here. Shouldn't be an issue, it's a pretty good sized pot. That's all three MBs in that trapper die. We'll let them sit just about an hour um, and check, see how they look. So we'll check in a little bit. Just a quick update, I ended up dumping that whole bag of dye in there. It just looked real light and kind of not what I was going for. So I put the whole bag in, now it's nice and dark. Should look pretty good in here in about an hour, guys. And one hour in the dye. So we're gonna just pull them out, get them hung up behind me, and then I'll show you what they look like. So here we have the MB750s with the dye on there. Totally different looking trap. Turned out really good. Really excited about that. And then we'll just kind of hang out a little bit. Let them, uh, let them hang out and then we will, these are the 110s, by the way, the Bridgers. Anyway, um, once, once we get those 330s done, and we still have one here, the Belial, that needs to go in, so we'll just keep rotating them. We'll get these other ones waxed. And by these other ones, I mean just these MB750s, not the 330s. And we are done with the die. These are all the 330s. Big difference from what they looked like a few, uh, just a few hours ago. So these are ready to go, um, put up and ready for trapping, no issues there. So what we're doing now is getting some clean water um, up to temperature to put that wax in that's right there get that melted and then we'll get these foothold traps waxed and then we're done all right so this was attempt one and a little bit of research on the internet tells me that I did not let the traps get warm enough underneath that wax before I pulled them out so I thought it was a speed game it is not a speed game so wanted to show you guys that and then we're gonna go ahead and do this the right way where we're gonna let the trap metal get warm so that the wax that forms on top of it will be thin and not all clumpy like that. So check it out. All right, so we're gonna take this trap, get it fully submerged. And because it is cold outside and the trap is cold, 
what I learned was we need to let that mill reach a certain temperature so that it's warm enough for the wax to not get all jumped up. So jumbled up. I don't know why I said jumped. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we're gonna let it sit for two minutes, pull it out and drip the wax off and we should be good to go. Huge difference when you let that metal of the trap heat up. So that's a easy lesson learned there. Won't make that mistake again and hopefully this will prevent you guys from making the same mistake if you're just getting into trapping like I am. Well, we are done with traps for today, so I'm going to get all the ones we worked on laid out. Um, and we'll have a look at how they turned out. Stick around. And here is the finished product for today. We have waxed footholds. Random duke that I found in the, in the shed, so I figured I'd do that one up anyway. And then we have just dyed body grips no wax on those so one thing i'm seeing i'm not sure if this is just kind of part of it but you got a little bit of bubbling right here see that right there so maybe we let it dry whatever first attempt i'm pretty happy with it if you guys have any recommendations i'm all for hearing them so shoot them shoot them in the comments thanks guys we'll see you later